and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Charmaine and today Taylor and I are opening up our advent calendar books that we made ourselves last year. As you can see behind me, I've already wrapped mine for next year, like 2024. I have 24 books. I don't think they're all actually sitting up here because sometimes they fall off. Not that I'm saying that there's some sitting on the ground, but I think I have some sitting over there. However, now that I've said that, I'm unsure and they might all be behind me. I don't know. So this one is from last year and then I have this one up here behind me from last year as well. So I'm doing one for November and then I'm going to do one for October and then that year is done. Now, one thing I will say is next year I'm definitely going to work better on actually reading my books and using my stuff. I have to cough. And I'm back! Okay, so last year uh, I did, what did I do, 16 or 18? Maybe 18 books I think. And I ended up reading I think only like four out of all of 18. Like I unwrapped them, I was so excited to like unwrap them for myself and like use the stuff. I didn't end up using all of my stuff. I didn't end up reading all of my books. So this year I'm going to try like actually to really genuinely read them, not just like have them for myself and then be like, oh, I'm opening up my own present and then being like, Haha, sucker and setting it to the side like I was this year. So starting now, like this month, so I'm planning on reading this book this month, whatever this is. I've already read two books this year or this month, which is uh, like this is November 6th. So I'm doing pretty good there. So I'm excited to get into this. So when I did mine, I used twine around it originally, and then I made like little pockets and I stuck a whole bunch of treats in there. So I'm going to pull some stuff out and I'm going to read the card, like the hint card to myself or to you guys so that I'm trying to guess what hint it is first. But I just want to get all the little treats out first. This is actually, this was like super fun to wrap up for myself too. I filmed a video of it. If you guys didn't see that, I'll try and remember to like put it up here or like put it in the description box so you guys can check it out. If you want to see like how to wrap your books with like these fancy like folds and stuff. And then I just put like a twine around it. This one is really pretty actually because it's like twine but it has like white and gold through it. Okay, so for this book, it says it was published in May 2019. It has a 4.6 on Amazon and a 4.08 on Goodreads. That's high. It's a fantasy fiction retelling. Ugliest, wittiest, fantastic, brave and strong was a Goodreads reviewer. Believe that you can make your way or don't. Either way, you are right. A book quote. The worst day above ground is still better than any day under it. Also a book quote. Gee, I don't know. Believe you that you can make your way or don't. Either way, you're right. That's a good way to say it. Okay. I have no clue. Um, Maybe what I'll do first is I'll show you guys the book treats and then I'll open up the book. Okay. So the first treats that I have here, I have an eye mask. This is the I Woke Up Like This SF Gold Eye Mask. I love these. I got these from FabFitFun like quite a while ago, so I probably have to use them pretty soon. Uh, it doesn't actually tell me, so I don't know. But I should use them pretty soon because they're probably going to go bad soon. And then I have a Super Beauty Mask by the Honey Jarrett brand. This is the Lemon and Honey one. This is some of my favorite sheet masks because when you put them on, they like really, really sink to your skin. Like when you take them off, it's like peeling like a layer. <laughs> that sounds so creepy. <laughs> I, I heard what I was going to say and I stopped it and then I pointed it out. But it's like, it's like peeling like a layer of like cloth off your face is what I'll go with. That sounded real creepy. <laughs> then I have a chamomile tea for a treat. Then I have some stickers here. These ones are some people and some roses, but they're like watercolor. So really pretty. Then I have some crafting stickers here. This is like cross stitch stickers. I have a bookshelf that's in the shape of a heart. I have a bookmark that I made myself like when I was a teenager from this cool pattern paper that I had. Then I have some sticky tabs so that when I annotate, I can annotate my book. These ones are too pink, too peach, too gray, too darker gray, and too dark gray. So I actually really like those. Hopefully they match the book. If they don't, I might end up switching them out though, because now I'm all into like having matching tabs. Like I'm just so fancy. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to get into this. Oh, I was trying to get into it without having to worry about getting the string off, but I messed it up there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to open it up towards you guys. I have no clue what it is, but it was published in 2019, and it's a fantasy retelling. Okay. 
This is, oh, Stepsister by Jennifer Donnelly. Okay, nice thing. I already read this. <laughs> I read this this year. I actually read it in audio on uh, my Scribd app, which has now turned to Never Tree or Never End. But yeah, so I actually read this this year. So for the first time ever, I can give you a review on this. So Stepsister is about the ugly stepsisters in the Cinderella retelling. You know, there's Drizella and... Anastasia, but I think they're called something different in this. I did read this like in March, so I'm going to give you like a little tiny review. But essentially what happens here is Cinderella has gone off to like live her happy life with the prince. The whole town that the stepsisters and the stepmother in know that they're bad people and that they've done bad. And then it's kind of their way of figuring out their life after being like, they're like ostracized by the community because they've done bad. They've been bad to Cinderella and all of these people found out and they were like, you guys suck. So they're going through their lives now and trying to figure out what they're going to do. So it's like a, a genuinely a retelling on the stepsisters. I give this book a five or four and a half stars. It was so good. This one, because there was another one. It was a different retelling by her as well. But it's like in this same like vein. I don't know if it's in here. No. Because uh, this one's like Cinderella, but there was the other one. I wish I knew what the other one was. Anyways, this one was better to me than the other one that she did that was a retelling as well. Also, this book is gorgeous. It has like broken glass and there's like um, a slipper on the front, like the broken glass is coming out of and the, it's all raised. And it says, don't just fracture the fairy tale, shatter it. Yeah, so it's like literally about the ugly stepsisters. And you know, like in the original tale, the Cinderella telling like one of them lost their toes and one of them lost their heels. Uh, this one lost her toe and then she gets like a wooden toe and she like has to like figure out how to like rewalk and everything. Like honestly, it, they're super good books. I highly recommend it. Like four and a half stars for me. Not even kidding. So that's kind of neat that I've already read this one because I didn't realize that I even had it wrapped up and also I got to do a little review. So go me. So yeah. So next year I am going to work better on like actually trying to read them books as well, not just have them wrapped up pretty and then open them as a gift for myself every month and just be like, woohoo, bye. So yeah, I'm going to work on that. Anyways, let me know how you guys are doing. Please go and check out Taylor videos as well. I want to see what she's opening. I think she had three books left, I think she said. So maybe she's doing like two in one or something like that. I think for December, because she's going to be doing Vlogmas, she's probably going to not be reading like an insane amount. So she probably she's only going to open up one for that month. Okay. Uh, let me know how everything's going with you. Let me know how your day is going. Let me know what's new, what's happening, what's up, everything, all of that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for spending a couple minutes of your day with me today. I really, really, wow. Uh, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already <laughs> and check out my description box for other content creators. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. This is one of those times. <laughs> Now, thank you guys so much for spending all your time or your time with me today. I really, really appreciate that. And I really, really appreciate you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.